Hey guys, it's Mike from Indie Development. Uh, we had a question on how to change text color, and uh, I'm trying to answer that question here for you guys. So if we go ahead and open up our clips, and this question was having to do with uh, the Android tutorial, the tic-tac-toe tutorial that we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do it along with this one. Um, there's a couple ways that we could do this. We could actually come into our layout file, which we have. We could click on... Uh, right here which would hold the number of how many wins each one had or how many ties would be here so if we want to set this human one here to to red we come down to properties and if you don't see properties what you can do is uh, you go to window show view and you can click properties if it's not showing here you can click other and if you expand the general you'll notice properties is there um, and what you'll do is you'll scroll down to where you see text color right here and you can put your value in and change it. That's not a good way to do it because let's say you're doing a theme for your app or, or multiple things that you're wanting to set to the color and later on if you want to come back and change those colors you're going to have to go to each individual one and change the color that way. That's not the way we, that we want to do that because you know it's not really you know time friendly. You have to go back and find each one and that can be a real big pain. So what we'll do is we'll go under values here go to new Android XML file that will be a values file. We'll just name it colors. You can name it anything you want. The name really doesn't matter. So if you want to separate your colors into different files to keep track of which colors are where, that's fine too. And we'll hit finish. Uh, we could add it through this way, but I prefer just doing it in the XML. So make a color tag. Um, now this name here can be anything that you'd want. And we'll close the tag. So let's say that you're gonna you're gonna have some theme color set up. You know, you got a header, you got maybe some some border or something like that that you wanna set specific colors to. Well you can set the name to that if you want, but just for this uh this quick answer we're just gonna put red. And then inside here we'll actually just put the the color. So a simple red color. So we'll save that. And if you go over to the resources here you'll see that it actually did add this the red and that so you could you could name it that way if you wanted to but so now over here in values what we'll do is if we can click on it here we'll scroll down to text color right here click right here on the little browse button you notice we have color now red so now if we run this you'll notice that it's red so now the cool thing is is say later on we want to come in here and this isn't called red we'll say it's actually you know called a specific name for a theme and we don't we just want to make it a different color so now everything that was under this color, we run it again. You'll notice has been changed for us. Nice little yellow color there. Okay, well that's all fine. But let's say inside of our logic, we needed to set the color. Well, we can't just you know do it in the layout that way. So let's go look at that. So we'll change this back to to red. Save that back into our layout and just to show that it actually does work through the code here on the text color remove that save it run it real quick just to show you that the color is indeed changed back okay so now let's open up our code this is a little bit more a little bit a little bit trickier than the other way here. So let's go in here and we want to mess around with our human count here. So m human count dot set text color. Now if you'll notice here, you know, I was looking for um, an int color. So there's there's a couple ways we could do this. Now we could do 
color dot green. You now that's going to work, but it's going to run into the same thing as before. You know, if we set it this way and we need to change, you know, a lot of stuff under that one, we're we'll going to go back and find each one of those greens and change them to a different color. We don't, we don't want to do that. So now you'll notice down here when we set the text before, we just said r dot string dot in the the name of the string that we wanted, but that won't work with this. So r dot color. You know, you'd think maybe red would work. Now the reason this won't work is if you look, the set text color is expecting an int color, right? Well, if you look down here, this is actually expecting. Um, hang on here, right here, set text. This is actually expecting an int, but it's expecting the resource ID. So if we were to, to do this, this is actually going to return the resource ID, which can be found right here. And I don't suggest you go in here and mess with this file, but if you look at this uh, auto-generated resources file, right here under color, you'll see the red that we added. And this is the resource ID. This is how it's looked up when we try to find it. We do not want that value. We actually want the color stored in it. So we're going to actually find it a different way. So how do we do that? The way we gotta do that is we actually have to it's not too complicated once you get used to it. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type get resources. Then dot. And then you'll notice that you can um you can get a color, which is a top one right there. Get color. And now if you look it's looking for my sort of the color here r dot color dot red so this get color is actually going to be looking for this ID so now if someone's going to return the ID to it we go ahead and try to run this and there we go we got red so now if we wanted to put into our game, uh, you know, if the human has a higher amount of a score than the android, we can make this green. We could easily do that now. We can change it back and forth, um, depending on our logic and, and what the game is currently at. So I hope this helped to answer the question. Uh, I hope it was. I tried to do it real quick, so hopefully you were able to follow along. If not, just let me know, and I'll, I'll remake the video and and try to do it a different way. But uh, thanks for watching.